welcome to part two of how to make a concrete countertop. Now it's time to mix and pour the concrete. The forms for the four L-shaped pieces have been built and the corners have been caulked. If you haven't built the forms yet, make sure and watch part one first. Check each form with a level before you pour. If the form is not level, the concrete can settle towards the low end. A simple way to raise or lower the form is to place shims along the edges. Remove any dirt and debris from the form. Spray the form with a concrete release agent or a lubricant like WD-40. This will help the concrete release from the form once it's cured. The countertops will need wire or rebar to reinforce the concrete. We chose to use galvanized metal wire fencing. To cut it, use bolt cutters or a grinder with a cutoff wheel. Test fit the metal fencing sections before you pour. Fill a five gallon bucket with the correct amount of water for one bag of concrete mix. If you want to add colorant, now is the time. We used a powdered colorant. Now it's time to mix the concrete. Add half to three quarter of a bag and mix thoroughly with a half inch drill and an egg beater. Add the rest of the bag into the bucket and finish mixing. If the concrete is too thick, add a little water to thin it out. The concrete should easily pour out of the bucket, but you also don't want it soupy or runny. Pour the concrete into the form. Using a float, Spread the concrete, making sure to work it into the corners. Continue to add concrete into the form until it's full. Spread the concrete out to get it level with the top of the form. Use a rubber mallet or hammer to vibrate the concrete. This will help the concrete settle into the form and the corners. Screed the concrete with a screed board to get it level with the form. Place the galvanized metal wire fence sections in place. Press down until it disappears. Use a float to smooth out the surface. Let the concrete cure in the forms. Once it looks dry, add water with a garden hose to slow down the curing process. This will make it stronger. Once the concrete countertops have cured, you can remove them from the forms. Carefully lay the form upside down, then gently wiggle the form to remove the concrete countertop. Set the sections in place to check the fit. If any of the corners are rough or irregular, you can smooth them out with a rub brick. Now the four L-shaped concrete countertop sections are done. Make sure and watch part three to see how to stain and seal the countertops. Get all the tools you need for your concrete countertop project at Marshalltown. <music>